everyone, and welcome to this week's review. I am Prue, and joining me as always is Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you this week? I'm doing great. You know, after all the E3 news that people will be have seen by the time they hear this recording, we're going to talk about oh. something that has nothing to do with E3. E3 has come and gone, and oh, what a what a barrel of shocks that was, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> all that new stuff that was announced that we. I mean, we know some of it, of course, but we don't yeah. know a good chunk of it, but. Anyways, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about something much more exciting. Oh, way more exciting. Another Thrilling Artifix Mundi game. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get through this. I don't know how it's going to go, but let's uh, let's start. Which one are we talking about? Today? All right. Well, this time we're talking about Queen's Quest Two: Stories of Forgotten Past. The published okay. by Artifix Mundi. The developer is Brave Giant, which I think is just another code word for Artifix Mundi. <laughs> uh, have, did you play the critically lauded uh, Queen's Quest, the original one? No, but I guess Artifix does not have the rights to Queen Quest, Queen's Quest One. Oh, interesting! I didn't know that. I looked it up and I saw it was a PC game, but yeah, it hadn't but had yeah, they, a... it's somebody else made it. And Artifix doesn't have the rights to it. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then other fun fact: Did you know that Queen's Quest Three comes out next week? Oh man, I sure hope we get to review it. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Um, so, God, I, I don't really want to just sit here and bash on the game all day. But the thing is, here's the thing. If you've played one of these games, I'm going to put as much effort into this review as they do into their games. It's oh, just it's just the same. It's just repeating the same stuff over and over again. And you can only watch those, like, subpar sort of, I guess you could call it a cutscene, but it's not. I mean, it's a slight bit of motion blur from one animation yeah, to another. The, which is the same as always. You know what's really disappointing is we did the review on uh, My Brother Rabbit, which was a new take on an Artifix yes. Mundi game, which you could just click randomly on the screen and progress. But it was different. It wasn't the same game. It was and a good game. I, I mean, a yeah, relatively was, good game. Relatively good. And what did they do? They go right back to the same garbage that they did before that they've done for forever. Yeah. Yet they charge I mean, more. Remember, remember when they did the, the price raising on the oh, pre-release? Yep. The games are already out. That was pretty cool. I would say that My Brother Rabbit is ten times the game this game is. Ten times. Had, at least more. it had charm and some, you know, uh, you know, a little bit of, I don't know, there's something about these games, especially the more I play, I think, as well, it, it, that just everything just runs together. Yeah, and, um, and really, go through all the Artifix Mundi games and try to really discern them from one another. They all just kind of blur into each other, just yeah. like their cutscenes. So in this game, you I guess you play a queen, but I, I, I it's not clear to me. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't play it far enough to know. I know you yeah. can go talk to the king, and the king talks to you, and but I don't really listen to what the king's talking about because I don't care. Yeah, everybody addresses you as the um, alchemist. Yeah, so but maybe we're a queen that does magic. I don't know. I, I don't know. Or in the quest I'm, to get the queen. The queen, well, I, I guess I won't quote-unquote spoil it for you, but if you're interested, um, you can play and see what happens um the gameplay itself is just regular artifacts point and click you know with hidden puzzles uh hidden object puzzles you know uh and pretty much that's it the alchemy is like i guess kind of a new mechanic where yeah, that's different where you have to make potions yeah you just make potions so it's just an extra step for you to like find the ingredients in the world then go into the potions menu and just put them all into a bowl that's, I think they did that to remove the amount of cutscenes they had to do. Yeah, that would make sense. I could see that. <laughs> Maybe that's the brave giant trick. That's what they're doing. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it's, you know, it is what it is. I would, did you? It's not. Any... It's it's not horrible. I mean, it's easy. It's an easy thousand points. I do know that if you can stand the three to four hours of gameplay, which you've done fifty times before this game, it really is an easy thousand points. Yeah, I believe it. I, I'll finish it up tomorrow. I think I'm only about 20 minutes away from the end, but it's just such... I, I, I would almost rather play an ACA game. Almost. It's, it's just tedious and it's just boring. It's just a slog to get through. Yeah, and the achievement list is just like before. They're, it's the same. Complete, complete a puzzle without a hint. Do five mini games. Complete all this. Complete all that. Finish them all without skipping, so don't skip anything and don't use any hints. It's yeah. just like every other game they had before. Yeah, it 
it's it was a, it's an artifacts money game through and through. So maybe you know, for anybody who who that is their thing, you're gonna have a great time with this game. It's it's exactly what you're expecting. Um, anybody else, uh, you could probably find it. I think I would think better served two hours, three hours. Yeah, yeah. If you're a achievement hunter, I mean, you will play this game probably. I mean. About 600 players or people have played it and almost 300 have beaten it. So. Only 50% of people have Robin gotten too bored to continue. The real <laughs> I'm borderline at that point, heart. but I, you know, <laughs> I'm like, I'm so I'm close. I just should just safe. finish it. So, <laughs> oh um, boy, this is going to be a short review. But honestly, there's really not much to say. Um, if you if you need any more elaboration, you can listen to any of the other uh, three. I think we've done. Artifacts Mini Game reviews. Yeah. yeah, we'll probably be doing a fourth because you know Queen's Quest Three will be coming out. That's right. And we got to see what happens next. Definitely have to find out because it's very important. Oh man, the, the voice acting is just—it really sounds like they're trying to be bad voice actors. And I don't mean to be mean, but it's just like it reads like they're just reading off of a page. It's, it's just really tough. It sounds like a lot of the characters are the same ones from the previous games too. Like it's the same voice actors. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so anything else left to say about Queen's Quest 2 and the, what is it, the, uh, the uh, stories, stories of, of Forgotten Past? Your Majesty, that's, that's ironic. Poisonous words the name, so. me. Anything else you have to say about that? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, my only thing is, and this is the Artifacts Mundi thing, is it's fourteen ninety nine. Uh, that's a lot. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's too much. Wait for hey, a sale. one good thing, it could fulfill a queue Ooh, for yes. some sort of competition, you know, a queue game. Uh, you know, easy two, three hour completion. So keep that in your back pocket. Yeah. For sure. 